Hey there, today we are going to plot two interesting patterns in Python. Let's get started. So we are going to basically plot uh, points with polar coordinates r and theta, where r is equal to theta. For example, 1 and 1 would be somewhere around here, 2 and 2 would appear there, and the rest of the points. We are going to do this one time for all of the numbers, 1 and 1, 2 and 2, up until the sum threshold and one time for prime numbers 2 2 3 3 and so on before we start the coding part let's just quickly talk about the cartesian and polar coordinates let's say that we have this point a with coordinates r and theta where r is the distance from the origin and theta would be the angle between this line and the x-axis we want to find the corresponding x and y values in the Cartesian system. To do that, we can use the sine function. We know that by definition, the sine of theta would be equal to the opposing side, which is y here, divided by hypotenuse, which is r. Using that, we can compute y, which is r times sine of theta, and the cosine of theta would be equal to the adjacent side, x, divided by r and that gives us the value of x, which is r times cosine of theta. Let's use an example to illustrate this. Let's say that we have this point A with coordinates 1 and 1, where the first one is the r, and the second one is theta, where it's measured in radians. We know that each radian is roughly equal to 57 degrees. Now to convert these polar coordinates to its corresponding Cartesian ones, we can use the formulas that we just saw. We can get the x and y values uh, in the Cartesian system. Similarly, if we have another point, let's say 2 and 2, we can again use these formulas and compute its uh, corresponding x and y values. Let's start with the coding. I have already imported the libraries that we need, which are matplotlib for plotting and from the math library sine and cosine for calculating the Cartesian coordinates. I have also defined the preferred style of the graph and I have a text file containing the first 80,000 prime numbers. I have imported it and prepared it for our coding. Let's start with the total number of points that we want to generate. Let's say for start just 100 points. Then we need to prepare the lists of numbers. So for example, we need the first uh, n primes and also the first n numbers starting from one up until n. Then we need a function to convert basically polar coordinates to Cartesian. Let's say P to C, which takes as input a list. And then we are going to compute the X and Y values <coughs> of these points in the Cartesian system. And the same for the y coordinates and we just return the result okay let's now prepare the plot so uh, we need to create a figure and we need two axes because we want two plots next to one another so there are going to be one row of plots and two columns and we can also define the figure size and yes then let's define our first plot and we are going to do that on the left subplot then we need the x and y coordinates, let's call them n of x and n of y. We use our function and as list we are going to give nums. 
so it's going to be a scatter plot. Let's give it a marker size of let's say 0.6 and let's color it orange. Also need to set the title. Let's say all numbers. Let's now plot the primes on the right subplot. second axis let's plot it in yellow and that should be it let's just adjust the spacing and let's also have no axis so that the plot would look better. And that's it, just let's display the figure. And let's test it for 100 numbers. We can see we get these patterns and we can also try it with more points let's say a thousand it looks very interesting you can see say the first ten thousand and it really is very interesting now if you want to know more about why and how these patterns emerge you can check the video in the caption which uh, dives much deeper into the matter I will also post the code on my website so if you want to play around with it you can use the codes. With that this tutorial would come to an end. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next tutorial.